Prince Philip, the husband of Queen Elizabeth II, will at some point be outranked by his son Prince Charles' wife Camilla. Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh has been a senior member of the royal family since he married Queen Elizabeth II more than 70 years ago. During his lifetime, Philip has received a flurry of honorary titles to go with his name. However, the Duke of Edinburgh will at some point be outranked by his son Prince Charles and his wife Camilla, despite his decades-long commitment to the Queen. Upon her marriage to Prince Charles in 2005, Camilla Parker Bowles received the title Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cornwall. When they are in Scotland, the couple is referred to as Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Rothsey and His Royal Highness the Duke of Rothsey. But at some point, Charles, who is Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth II's oldest son, will become king. Prince Charles is the heir apparent and the first in line to succession of the British throne. When Charles receives his new title as king, his wife will also be styled with a higher rank and will be known as Camilla, Queen Consort. At first, upon Camilla and Charles' wedding, the palace announced she would go by Princess Consort, in an effort to ease backlash from fans of Charles' late ex-wife Princess Diana. But Charlie Proctor, editor-in-chief of Royal Central explained this is no longer the case. He said, when Charles takes to the throne, Camilla will become Queen Consort. When a male royal marries, his wife attains the female form of his title. However, that is not the case for female royals when they wed. Therefore, Camilla will be a queen consort when Charles succeeds his mother. Philip, on the other hand, can't be a king, since it's his wife doing the reigning. When a male royal marries, his wife attains the female form of his title. However, that is not the case for female royals when they wed. Therefore, Camilla will be a queen consort when Charles succeeds his mother. Philip, on the other hand, can't be a king, since it's his wife doing the reigning. Prince Charles will become king when Queen Elizabeth vacates the throne in the event of her death or decision to retire. Once he ascends as the new head of state, he will be the most powerful member of the royal family, and he could do anything he wishes for. Now, since this will be the case, there are people asking if the Prince of Wales will cut Prince Edward and Andrew's funds once their mother dies. They said that he will cut the monetary support so that his brothers could start working again to earn for themselves. But will this really happen? Will Prince Charles leave his brothers without funds when Queen Elizabeth passes away? In a thread started by Chris Smith, a citizen, he said that Prince Charles could cut funding for their official duties, but he will not let them live without funds. But then again, this might not even be necessary because Queen Elizabeth already set up trust funds for them and both Prince Edward and Andrew have invested their money well so they are wealthy people who can get by without help from the palace. Plus, it was added that with the prince's ages today, it is too unrealistic to expect them to start a new career so they will earn for their living. It was mentioned that it is Prince Andrew's daughters, Princess Eugenie and Beatrice who may need to find jobs and build their careers because they are the ones who are more likely not to get fundings from the monarch in the future. Could this be the cause of the alleged possible cutting of funds? It was reported that Prince Charles and Prince Andrew are feuding for quite a while now. According to Express, a documentary claimed that the siblings' rift started when the Prince of Wales publicly snubbed his brother during Queen Elizabeth's time and Jubilee celebrations in 2012. It was added that the Prince of Wales never really got along with his brothers, and their age differences could be one factor why they are not close. It took 11 years for the Queen and Prince Philip to have a child again after Charles, and Princess Anne were born. Finally, whether it is true that they are odds or not, Prince Charles will not cut their fundings, but he could ask them to retire from their official duties. 